You don't need the organ or the keyboard to do it. That's good. Yes. Yes. He don't need the drum to do it. That's good. All right. Because he's God. Yes, he is. Yes, Lord. Yes, he is. He can do it anytime, All by anywhere. Amen. To who he will. Yes. Amen. Because he's God. Because he's God. Listen, we, we're going to move. And Anthony is prepared to just come on up and do what God said to do and cut through any other preparedness. He might be preach a little bit. Where the church, God's focus in my spirit, where the church started and where it is is determined by good leaders. Amen. Yes, but where the church and the direction it is headed is determined by good youth. Amen. 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 Yes, yes it is. I think the church is headed in a good direction. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm examining here today from our youth team. Our church has got a good promising direction. Amen. What has been demonstrated here today in their singing and their reading and their academic skills that they are demonstrating. The church has a good promise and a good future. <coughs> We're not going to just teach our children to work at McDonald's while they get their education. All right. We're going to teach them to own McDonald's. Amen. Amen. Go ahead now. Hey, right. yeah, Pastor. Good. Amen. We're excited about what's going on here. Amen. God can allow Calhoun to bag grocery mm -hmm. and own a change of supermarket he can do it for cabin. Yeah. All right. That's right. And we're thankful to all of our guests. Names are too many to mention at this time. And I don't have them all, but especially to Miss Garrett, our vice principal, our assistant principal at Prattville. High school. Amen. Now she had the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church family. How they are being taught. So it'll be easy when she see one of our boys. It's from the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church with his pants down where they're not supposed to be. She can tell him to get them up. Amen. All right. I call your pastor. Yeah. Amen. But they're not taught that way. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. We need all the help we can get with our children. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now that's what we want to do. God bless the church. Amen. He's done those things. For the next few minutes. Anthony's going to come and I'm going to ask him to come preach the gospel for a few We need the gospel for the next few minutes. We've gotten the word by now. All right, Pastor. We need the gospel. God knows that some of us here needed a word by what we was going through, but we need some good news now. Amen. Yes. No matter what you're going through in this good news that you coming out of it. Yeah. Right. That's Amen. good news. That's good news. Before it be the God. Amen. Introduce the song. Well, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit in this place. We thank you for your anointing, Jesus. We thank you for the praise as well. God, we thank you for deliverance. Lord, I ask you to have your way, Lord. Father, in the name of you, Lord, you I come, I decrease in you. You increase in me, Father. Oh, Lord, bring the good news to your people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for the oneness of our pastor. Thank you for him right now, Father, in the ministers. Blessed is the church, Father. Thank you for the good news, Lord. 
Lord bless this church. Help us to receive your joy as we praise you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. At home. Come on, somebody. You see, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. A crowd that faded not away. You see, God got reward for his believers that are faithful to his purpose that he has called you to be. Somebody, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Some of us been trouble and suffering. Been going through some trouble. Well, that, that's good. Come on, somebody. It's good that we suffer for a while. So we can appreciate the anointing of God, the goodness of God, the love of God, the peace of God. Get ready. Your redemption draws near. I'm a, I feel the anointing on me here. Praise God. You see, some of them, see, when we leave the service on Sunday, and all the explosion of the anointing that was around us, the shock to kind of glory came in the house, and, and we danced, and we praised the Lord, and we gave him praise, and we beat for joy, praise God. And, but when the door is open on Monday morning, come on, somebody, the devil's waiting for you right there on the job. Well, you're right, he was stupid. He said, I couldn't get you in the church. He said, there was so much anointing there. I'm going to wait and set a trap for you outside. Oh, come on, somebody. You see, the devil can't even no mess with us right here. Come on, somebody, because that's Shekinah glory all around the building. But God want to prepare a people through the word of God and through the praises of them. He wants to come in and inhabit your praise. Come on, somebody. See, some of you are shopping, not letting God inhabit your praise. God wants to come in and inhabit your praise. So he can bring real redemption. Real redemption. Come on, somebody. So, hallelujah. Sit down, sit down. Hallelujah. Real redemption. Come on, somebody. He want to give us a testimony. Yes. A real redemption. A real deliverance. Yeah. God don't hear what I'm talking about. But we serve a God that's able. Yeah. Come on, somebody. He's not God. You ain't got, if you don't know he's able right now, you don't have a relationship. Hallelujah. If you don't know he's able right now, you ain't got no relationship with him. Because when he came, he showed himself. Come on, somebody. In the book of Exodus. When the Egyptian didn't know who this God was, Moses was talking about. Yeah. God had to show that he was the mighty God. Yeah. The I am that I am. Yeah. God will hear me now. When God needs to show himself, yeah. God will show himself mighty. Yeah. God will show himself strong. Yeah. God will hear me. I, I can do all things. Yeah. You cry now. That strength in me. I, God will show himself Oh 
God. But sin gets in the house. It breaks the fellowship off. It gets you in bondage. It ties you up in, in gray clothes. But I'm here, the Lord calling your name. Come get loose. Get loose. Loose that man. Through the word of God, loose that man. Through the preaching of the word, loose that woman. Y'all don't hear me trying to get loose. A crowd. A crowd. Come on, somebody. Now, I want to deal with something here. In the book of Revelation, this flesh is corrupt and it can't be holy. But one day, talk about good news. Y'all don't hear me. Oh, God. Come on, listen here. Verse 52. And in the moment, and the twinkling of an eye, at the last, what? Trump. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Yeah. Woo, glory, and we shall be changed. Yeah. Oh, look at verse 53. For this corruptible shall put on incorruption. This mortal must put on immortality. Glory to God. I'm talking about good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Woo. Good news. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. We gonna be changed. Y'all don't hear me. Some of us don't 
if we don't get it right, we ain't going to see him in righteousness. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Oh, this ain't no joke. Oh, this ain't, this is a real thing. If we don't get it together, get it right with God. When we wake up, it's not going to be in righteousness. It's not going to be in peace. It's not going to be with great joy. Somebody. Got one more scripture. Come on, somebody. Philippians 3. Come on, somebody. Oh, glory to God. Philippians 3 and 21. Oh, God. Come on, somebody. Come on, son. It's time to get it right with God. Come on. You don't know when you're going to go. Help, help us, Lord. There's going to be some trouble. Oh, God. If you got to say amen. I want somebody to read that for you. Come on, give the Lord. Five. Yes, it's five. That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Yes. According to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Come on, somebody. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Our bodies are vile. Yeah. They decay. Yeah. They die. Yeah. yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But there's a spirit man in us. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. See, first Thessalonians 5 talked about. The body, yeah, uh -huh. the soul, yes. the spirit of a man right. been made whole. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Yeah, right. And you know the devil is an imitator. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on, somebody. Right now. Oh, God, I don't want to go there, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> See, the devil got his own folks that's coming. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, it's going to wreak havoc yeah. on this land. Uh -huh. yeah. And those that not found under the ark of safety yeah. are not going to receive this reward. Yeah. Come on, somebody. You're not going to receive what God has ordained for his people. Right. You're not going to get what God has for you. Uh -huh. Come on. God, the devil's plan right now is to devout you, yeah. to get you out of the will of God. Uh -huh. And through situations yeah. and through trials yeah. that God is yeah. hanging on to his word. I'm close. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, I'm on. To make an impact. Yes. In our lifetime. Yes. Lord, why you didn't allow me to come at 15, 57? Or 18 something. All right. God knew this would be your time. Yes. He knew everyone of would be born on a certain day. Yes. When and where, how, what city, what hospital, how many times it took you to get here, what time you got here. Come on, son. He already knew. Yes. And your life has already been planned. By God. Hello. God don't hear me. Yeah. Yes, you know, we ask the Lord to order my steps. Yeah. But the words that the righteous man's steps are oh already. They've already been ordered. Yeah. They've been already been ordered by God. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. Come on, there's a divine will, a divine destination for you as a saint of God. But you gotta stay. Yeah. You gotta stay in the will of God.
we've tried our ability, we've tried the intelligence, we've tried the eloquence of speech, and nobody's changing. We need preachers that would just stand up and preach foolish. That the people can see a difference. Put off our intelligence. And let's preach Jesus. Amen.